covid and liver disease i've, I've spoken a lot and written a lot about this subject over the last two years you know uh, the corona virus spike protein binds to ace2 cells in the lung and these ace2 receptors are present on the liver cells also so the virus can actually bind to liver cells so lung may not lung or the upper respiratory tract may not be the only seat of damage with coronavirus it can attach to liver cells but but liver has a very efficient immune system and a lot of reserve so there isn't a lot of de novo liver disease that is seen with coronavirus or covid de novo means previously normal healthy liver and come coronavirus and the liver gets diseased that's not common but what is common is that if there is a pre existing fatty liver or liver disease from hepatitis or any other cause then it can definitely become worse with covid infection we've had cases where people had cirrhosis cirrhosis means like a scarred diseased liver um and they there are three stages of cirrhosis a b and c so they were in stage a but after covid they got to b or c or they were in b and they went to stage c and needed a transplant or they were in c and they died because they went into terminal liver failure so covid def and this is something that we have published i have published as a part of a international cardiology research group and uh, as a part of a couple of liver societies internationally so we published this data already that pre existing liver disease can definitely become worse with covid covid virus uh, infection can uh, affect the liver in multiple ways which we have you know encountered in our patients here uh, one is that it directly has a cytopathic effect so it directly affects the liver and can impact its function the virus binds to certain receptors called called ace2 receptors which are there on the bile duct cells and therefore it causes you know uh, damage to the liver then many drugs which we use to treat covid infection they also have a side effect uh, and they damage the liver then there is a immune mediated damage because of immune mediated damage covid can affect the liver indirectly plus there are other you know ways uh, in particular some biologic agents which are used for treat uh, covid infection they can also affect uh, the liver in an adverse way we have also seen that those patients who already have pre existing liver disease if somebody has got cirrhosis then that patient is more prone to the adverse effect of covid infection and we have seen people actually who are stable they get worsened when they develop a uh, covid infection on top of their cirrhotic liver and we have also encountered such patients coming to our unit for need of liver transplantation so it is important that those who have existing liver disease like cirrhosis they should be careful they should be vaccinated and they must ensure that they don't get covid infection and if they get it they should get it treated timely corona viruses are known to cause lung infections however it is little appreciated that they can cause significant liver injury they can cause direct impact on the liver and cause a hepatitis that is an inflammation they can also cause an immune mediated injury whereby they stimulate the immune system and cause damage to the liver they can also cause an ischemia to the liver by causing thrombosis or inducing clot formation in the veins going to the liver they can also cause worsening of pre existing liver disease and certainly this has been the case in numerous of our patients who have been under follow up they can also cause serious lung infections they can also cause significant liver injury in patients with decompensated liver disease and in patients who are waiting for a liver transplant they are particularly notorious in causing infections and causing even an increased risk of death in patients who have had a liver transplant and who have been on immunosuppressants the most important factor which has played a role in reducing the severity of this illness has been the big rollout of vaccination and certainly vaccinations are recommended for uh, our patients with liver disease and i would recommend everybody who have a liver problem or who are on the liver transplant waiting list or who have had a liver transplant to take this vaccine it doesn't matter which type of vaccine it is as long as you complete the full course and taking a vaccine is definitely going to reduce the impact of covid-19 on the liver
As a liver surgeon, I am often asked, what is the effect, doctor, of COVID on liver patients? Personally, I think there's been two separate effects of COVID on liver patients. One is the obvious the fact that liver patients have slightly immunocompromised. That means their immunity is a little bit low. So when they're easier, more susceptible for them to get the disease. Second is because their immunity is low, their ability to sustain or survive the disease is also lower. But I want to point out today, there has been a covert, a hidden effect of COVID on liver patients, which is patients who desperately need a transplant, patients who desperately need a liver cancer are too scared to come into hospital. People who need correct follow-up, their medications modifying, are too scared to come into the liver hospital. They have been suffering and some of them have even died. This is not discussed at all and I feel particularly sad about it because they did not actually have COVID but suffered the effects of the COVID pandemic. The last a couple of years have been very challenging as far as delivery of health care for liver patients is concerned. We have had a pandemic, we have had multiple waves, the first wave, second wave, third wave. There have been uh, variants of, of the virus, COVID-19 virus. This has led to a situation where there were a lot of apprehensions among patients to come to the hospital to seek health care. So we saw a lot of patients who would otherwise need uh, treatment because of liver disease, but they were coming to us, coming to the hospital in advanced stages or when they would have complications related to the liver disease. On top of it, there were challenges related to uh, safety of the patients when they came to the hospital. They should not be getting COVID-19. Safety of the healthcare providers, the doctors and nurses, should not be infected with COVID-19. So all these things had to be put into process. And although we are seeing that COVID-19 is not causing uh, serious diseases in a big proportion of patients that, uh, that get infected, still it is not the time to let our guards down. COVID-19 infection does cause damage to the liver. Usually this injury is mild and is just elevation of SGOT, SGPT and does not cause a major damage to the liver. In those people who have a liver problem already, especially those who have cirrhosis, they can face multiple problems. In those patients where the liver was otherwise functioning well, but there was cirrhosis, they can progress the stage of their cirrhosis because of this COVID infection. A compensated cirrhosis can become decompensated with accumulation of fluid in the tummy or blood vomiting or bleeding in the stools. Also, those who have cirrhosis cannot take certain medications which we would otherwise give for patients with COVID-19. All in all, those who have a liver disease have to be extremely careful when they're dealing with prevention from COVID-19 and should take utmost precautions to protect themselves because if they develop a COVID infection, it can cause multitude of problems with worsening of liver disease, liver failure and liver decompensation. Also, because of the weak immunity due to the liver disease, they may take a longer time to recover because of COVID-19 from involvement of other organs. Today, I would give uh, some information on COVID and liver. We all know that any infective viral illness can affect the liver and can cause liver damage. And COVID is also a virus which can affect the liver. It can cause inflammation of the liver. It can cause raise SGOT, SGPT, bilirubin levels by itself. Also, those who already have a chronic liver disease, there is a huge population who have a silent liver disease because of chronic viral infections like hepatitis B and C, because of fatty liver, because of alcoholic liver disease. And they, when they contract this COVID virus, the risk to the liver is even higher because the reserve of the liver is low because of chronic liver disease. And when that less robust liver gets affected by the virus, it goes into liver failure. And we have seen 
quite a few cases who were previously stable with their liver disease had chronic liver disease but because of covid because of an additional insult to an impaired liver they went into liver failure and liver related complications also importantly the medications which are used to treat covid mainly remdesivir remdesivir also affects the liver in a small percentage of patients so we have had a lot of patients who have had remdesivir related hepatitis or inflammation of the liver and beyond a certain point if the inflammation is severe we have to stop remdesivir in patients who already have cirrhosis and chronic liver disease we are very careful about starting remdesivir and if we feel that the risk of remdesivir would be higher than the benefit we avoid remdesivir